as God uses men to advance his kingdom through the proclamation of the truth, so the devil uses men to advance his cause against the kingdom of Christ. Whenever the kingdom is advancing, it's because the word of God is being proclaimed. But you need to understand that there are two lines on this battlefield, and one line has men of truth. They are men of truth, not by their own virtue or merit, but the election, the sovereignty, the grace of God. They are men of truth, and they must stand with the truth and stop playing games like little boys and devote themselves to know the truth and to proclaim it. And then on this side, there is another line. And they are proclaimers of lies. They are hypocritical because they pretend to have a spirituality that is from God, but in actuality, at best, their spirituality is carnal or natural. And at worst, it's demonic. Just because it looks good doesn't mean it is good. Think about that. Satan's angels separate men from God. Paul wrote in Romans 8, 38, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Why would angels try to separate us? Because when Satan was cast from heaven, one-third of the angels went with him. So there are evil angels. Demon spirits make sin attractive. Sin is the blast that doesn't last. There's a pleasure in sin for a season. When you take off, it is wow! But then it becomes hell on earth. Demons deceive. Jesus said, let no man deceive you. Paul said, let no one deceive you. Satan is the master of deception and every demonic force that follows him is the master of deception. Satan presents himself as the angel of light when in fact he is the prince of darkness. That's deception. Demons enslave. Every drug addict is a slave. Every alcoholic is a slave. Every person addicted to nicotine is a slave. Every person addicted to gambling is a slave. Every compulsive spender is a slave. Driving yourself into economic ruin and your children into economic depravity. Every person who is manipulated or dominated by another person is an enslaving, addictive relationship. Demons torment, people tormented by fear, by depression, by self-pity, by rejection. You think no one loves you or ever did love you. Your mind is under constant attack by the prince of darkness. Demons drive, they compel and produce restlessness. Isaiah 57 and 20 said, the wicked are like the troubled sea, which is driven by the wind and cannot rest. Did you hear that phrase, and they cannot rest? Broad is the way that leads to hell, and many there be that find it. And narrow is the way that leads to heaven, and few there be that find it. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls. But the truth is some of you love the world. The attraction of this world, it's a dung heap. Write it off. Earth is going to be burned with fire. The kingdom of God is going to endure forever. What do you want, a dung heap or a mansion in glory? Make up your mind. Not the ones who know about God, but the people who know God shall stand, shall be strong and do exploits. Do we really know God?
Do we really know God? Do we really know God? Or do we just know about God? 